We have taken you along with the Ou family, a local refugee family on their road to citizenship. And today, they reached their final destination, the naturalization ceremony, and a moment they've been waiting for forever. Parker Tully takes us there. America, America, God shed his grace on me. I grew up in a small town in Malaysia where all we had was each other and limited opportunity and fear of what the future had in store for us. Not a day went by where I did not pray for our safety and survival. 74 people representing more than 20 different nations across the globe became U.S. citizens this morning. For Rosie Wu, 15 years of waiting and wishing led to these few very pivotal moments. This is the day that I've been waiting for, the biggest day. And I was like freaking out last night because I, I don't know what to wear because this is the biggest day of my life. Rosie had to turn in her green card, bring copies of her tax returns, and a form of identification to finalize the process. Countless hours of interviews and tests for what Rosie calls the biggest accomplishment of her life. It's a new journey. It's a new identity that I can have that I could finally say, I belong to this country. I don't even know how to say it. It's so exciting. After taking the oath of allegiance, the pledge of allegiance, and receiving their certificates of citizenship, a declaration of independence, and a citizen's almanac, the Mohawk Valley officially gained 74 new U.S. citizens. Living in America, I don't have to worry if I have another meal or a roof over my head. I get proper medical care, and we're able to find what we need. In Utica, Parker Tully, Eyewitness News.